Hello, that's Tom. That's Mary. And together we are Momentary. Momentary. <laughs> Welcome to another beer song extravaganza. Not just an extravaganza, but it's another battle, isn't it? It is. Tom's going to be making a song for one of the cans, and I'm going to be making a song for the other can. These beers were actually gifted to us by Pig Love Brewery, and they've been in the cupboard for a good while, and now it's time for us to start getting through them. We're really excited about these ones, because they're quite unusual, aren't they? They are. That was why we chose them. But first, why not tell us something about Pig Love Brewery? Brewery. Pig love comes from the Venezuelan expression cochino amor. Are you familiar with that one? No. Well, it's actually used to describe a love for something that is so big, raw, and passionate that it becomes filthy. For pigs, it's mud. For us, it's craft beer and brewing. There's nothing we enjoy more than getting messy in the brewery, working on new ideas. Mm. And these are two of the ideas, the first of which is called... Is that the bottom? Is that the bottom? <laughs> is that the name at the bottom? It is, isn't it? As you can see, there's a giant sloth who has a really, really pretty face, but it's actually called a fantastic unhop healer, which just sounds great. So it says that it's a fresh, easy to drink IPA with a sour and woody aftertaste of chichuasi. Chichuasi? 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 A legendary plant from the Amazon rainforest that has a long history of use by the indigenous shamans for its healing and mystical properties. I wonder if it's uh, some way related to ayahuasca, which is uh, quite well known now. I think you people do ayahuasca journeys. Is that like the trail of the Amazon? <laughs> it is not. People go to do ayahuasca journeys with shaman in mm. shaman 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 shaman. But what does that mean, the journey with the shaman? Well, so they take, uh, I think it's a concoction of something, and they go on a a mental trip. Mmm. Yeah. Well, I think we should go on a mental trip to get this one <laughs> open, shall we? We're going to... We don't need glasses, I think. We can see well enough. <laughs> let's let's get stuck in. Ooh, don't be fizz. Mmm, it's nice. You, that woody aftertaste is good. Often, beers can be a bit woody, afterwards but they kind of it's a negative thing but this doesn't seem to be negative at all hmm do you think we're gonna go on a on a healing mystical journey i think we could do hmm yeah there we go cool. it says obviously that it's sour there's a bit of a tang i think quite often with sour beers the more you drink it the more clear it becomes you obviously develop a taste for it it's definitely bitter hmm i would say yeah, I, I, nice. It's good. We haven't actually drunk a beer for quite a long time, have we? Quite a while. Probably, in fact, I don't think since New Year's. Is that what we reckon? Well, we went through about eight of them, and that was more than enough. Yeah, to keep us going for three months. Yeah. <laughs> A fantasticum series of beers are inspired by shaman-led ceremonies of transformation and healing. There you go. Using the plants given by nature. To read the full story, please visit pigglovebrewing.com. So do that. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're really cool guys. They're, they're from Leeds. They're based in Leeds. I don't think they've been going that long. I think it's about a year or so. Mm. Um, I'd be really interested to know whether they've been to the Amazon and yeah. been to do one of these journeys. It, it says... We have a deep admiration for the heritage of craft brewing in the UK, particularly in Yorkshire. Coming from a different culture with roots based in faraway lands, we wanted to add a little of our own wanderlust into the yeah. mix too. Definitely when we're able to, to get out there, we'll have a little trip up to Leeds because it's meant to be quite famous for its, its brewing. We actually discovered them uh, via a podcast about beer, uh, which was a guy, yeah, Points of Brew was the name, uh, a guy called Stephen. Um, and we're hoping to one day go on that podcast. It'll be fun. Talk about beer, maybe do a little song. I, mean, I still really don't know anything about beer, so I feel like I can't talk about beer. But we don't have to be the ones who know about the beer. We could just be the ones that mm, create songs. Yeah. And, and that's that's the fun thing. We want to keep creating songs. We want to try and create shows and things, don't we, as well? 
Depending on whether the Edinburgh Fringe Festival goes ahead this year, which currently we're not sure, but if it does, we have applied to do one of our momentary beer song shows there, mm. which would be for a week in August. The premise of the show is that we will all drink a beer together and the audience will help us to make a beer song yeah. and participate, hopefully. Do we want to continue drinking this beer? Do you want to get into that one now? I think we should probably try that one. As it's a beer <laughs> song battle, Tom's going to be making a song for one of the cans and I'm going to be making a song for the other can. Yeah, we're going to do it in a different way and then we're going to ask you to choose the winner just like we did with our rap beer battle. <laughs> this is going to be a bit different. We're going to have a guitar song and an iPad song. That could mean anything. We don't know what it means yet because we're only 10 minutes into this and we have a strict one hour limit. That's it. One hour, no more, no less. We haven't even talked about the other beer yet. We haven't, so let's, so let's crack it open. That. This is called Holy Cosmos, which I really like. A refreshing smoked Kolsch style beer with a fruity character, mm. accompanied by the slightly woody aromatic sweetness of Palo Santo, Holy Wood, mm. a special ingredient reputed for its spiritually purifying properties. Oh, I'm excited about this one. It sounds awesome. I am looking forward to being spiritually... Spi <laughs> I'm looking forward to being spiritually purified. Try saying that after you've drunk one of these <laughs> cans. <laughs> uh, by drinking beer, which seems slightly like an oxymoron. Uh, <laughs> this is part of their Mallorca series, uh, which is a series of beers inspired by the cosmology of the indigenous people of the Amazon rainforest. Mm, yeah, so... Very nice. It's another beautiful can, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Amazing. It's a face in a tree. That's really cool. In bark, right? It's really it's cool. Tree Man? Yeah, Tree I Man. I like Tree Man. Tree Man with a big hand. Tree Man is my man. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's nice. It's got a kind of avatar style mm. design, I would say, with the whole trees and the people of the trees. I like how he's kind of strict. You know how some people do that, uh, that like thing when they do their photos? It's like in Asia they do that a lot. He's kind of almost doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Whereas a lot. sloth is just. He's not opening his mouth. You need to. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> Get it open. Mmm, smoked. It definitely... Yeah, I can smell it. I feel like I'm sitting by a campfire. Mmm, that's cool. I do love a campfire, I have to say. Oh, wow. I'm getting, like, bacon or something. <laughs> or beef, like a, a smoked beef brisket or something. That's very, very unusual. But not in a bad way. That's quite cool. I can imagine having that with some peanuts would be lovely. Have we got any peanuts? We have lots of peanuts, actually. Do we? They're incredibly old, I think. Mm. It's very different, isn't it? This is more subtle. This is definitely out there. Yeah, I... Do you like it? Okay, do you feel like you're going towards one of them? Yeah, I, I think Tree Man is, is probably my thing. I mean, that doesn't mean you have to drink more of that. It just means that that's your song. I'm going to drink more of this it. This is going to... I'm going to drink more of this then. Me. Well, I'm going to sloth it. Mm. <laughs> both different. Both of them. So the way this is going to work, we are going to stop recording. He's going to go to one corner and I'm going to go to the other corner and we are going to make our songs. Yeah. So half an hour from yeah, now? Yeah, half an hour. Half an hour seems like loads of time, but I bet I won't be saying that later. <laughs> uh, have we got... I would say, if I had to give you some advice, Tommy. Yes, please do. Keep it simple. You're going on a, a healing and mystical journey. And I'm going to be spiritually purified. <laughs> yeah, you've got to try and say that. This is going to be fun. See you in 27 minutes. Welcome back. You haven't been anywhere, but we have. How's it gone? How did you find that experience? Yeah, it was super fun. I, I love making songs. It's what I do for fun, basically. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's really basic, but I, I enjoy it. I enjoyed it. Good. I enjoyed it too. I think it's also quite basic, but 
I'm still not entirely sure on how it's going to go. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think that says it all. We know you are a pressure cooker. You do well in that. I'm not a pressure cooker. <laughs> what is a pressure cooker? The intensity of like, you've got 25 minutes now. Mm-hmm. That's that's scary. You know, I, I get scared by the pressure, don't I? <laughs> Whereas I'm just like, right, let's do this. That's why I think we're a good team. I feel more comfortable with your support. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and on that note, do you want to begin? Uh, okay. So I'll take this down off okay. the mantle mm-hmm. because you are up. Okay. I'm going to have some more just to fuel me. Yeah, I forgot to drink any of it. There's not, not time for that. I did have time to draw a sloth. Yeah, you say you didn't have time for things, <laughs> but you had time to draw a sloth. Yeah. So I didn't do any drawing. <laughs> Oh, that's probably the fa- my favourite thing okay, that's on Okay, so that this is going to be paper. your first time. Did you hear any of what I did? No. I could hear you just kind of going, no. Okay, okay. I, I don't know what that was. Right. <clears throat> no, I mean, you standing on something. I don't okay. Know. Is it doing the song? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you leave that there? <laughs> I used to have a thing where I stood on plugs. It was really painful. I don't do stuff like that anymore. No, good decision. Okay. That's a cool song. I think it's great. I've got this feeling In need of healing, yeah I met this shaman Claim and here I am to to I see yeah to to I see yeah the special forest go look for it Amazonic IPA Looking for it to change my day Choo, choo, I see Choo, choo, I see, yeah 
Amazonic IPA Looking for it to change my day But I can't find it, follow the way Choo-choo, I see yeah. Choo-choo, I see, that is what he'd say Hip-hop healer, hip-hop hooray Choo-choo, I see, that's what he'd say Hop, hop, healer, hip-hop hooray <laughs> Fantastico I've lost my way but I'll find it today Hop, hop, healer, yeah Fantastico, this is the one Fantastic, um, hop, 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 choo, choo, I see, that is what he'd say, hop, hop, healer, hip hop, hooray, choo, choo, I see, that is what he'd say, choo, choo, I see, yeah. <laughs> la, 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 <laughs> la, yes, <laughs> I could, like I, I was uh, having to fight the edge to do some coming with some backing vocal of the choo choo acid. What does it remind me of though? Play that opening. No. Oh, uh, wait. I almost said. Mm. You get it on, baby. Now she get on, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Choo choo acid. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it worked for the Beatles, so. Who wins? You decide. Fantastic, this is the one. Um, hop, 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 choo, choo, I see, that is what he'd say.